President Obama says the cost of health care in America has grown much faster than wages. He says those overwhelming costs result in a bankruptcy in the U.S. every 30 seconds. In announcing his choice of Kathleen Sebelius to head the Health and Human Services Department, he said the U.S. cannot afford to delay health care reform. If we're going to help families, save businesses, and improve the long-term economic health of our nation, we must realize that fixing what's wrong with our health care system is no longer just a moral imperative, but a fiscal imperative. Health care reform that reduces costs while expanding coverage is no longer just a dream we hope to achieve. It's a necessity we have to achieve. Governor Sebelius is President Obama's second choice to lead the government agency overseeing U.S. health care. Former Senator Tom Daschle was forced to withdraw from consideration after acknowledging he failed to pay more than $100,000 in back taxes. Before she was elected governor of Kansas, Sebelius served as the state's insurance commissioner, drawing praise for using that post to advocate for consumer rights. Sebelius, a Democrat, also earned respect for her ability to work with the Republican majority in both chambers of her state's legislature. This isn't a partisan challenge. It's an American challenge, and one that we can't afford to ignore. If confirmed, Sebelius will take control of an agency of some 65,000 employees with a budget of more than $700 billion. The nomination comes as Mr. Obama prepares to host a summit on health care reform at the White House later this week. That meeting will include lawmakers and representatives of various interest groups, including insurers and drug companies. Robert Raffel, VOA News.